Hey guys, Ben with Onsite Firearms Training here. We're hanging out in the backyard talking about some pump shotguns. With the recent surge in the purchase of shotguns for home defense and personal defense, uh, we decided it'd be a good time to just take a look at two of our favorite shotguns, the Remington 870 and the Mossberg 590. Both of these shotguns have been cleared and their safeties are on. And today we are going to be demonstrating some loading and unloading techniques using dummy rounds only. So the first feature that we're gonna discuss is our ejection port. Our ejection port obviously handles the ejection of the spent casings or spent shells once you've fired that round. However, this is also where in a defensive situation, we're gonna load that first round. So our two methods for loading through the ejection port is we can either come over the top or we can come up underneath, depending really on the situation and your personal preference. For me, I'm a big fan of coming right over the top, just dropping the round in, hand guard forward, and it should chamber all on its own. There's no need for you to set it into the chamber. Second method is to come up underneath. Come right up underneath, drop that round right into the ejection port, and hand guard forward. Of the two techniques, my preferred method is to go over the top for a couple of reasons. One, if I've got the shotgun shouldered in a shooting position, all I need to do is tilt slightly. I can get the ejection port into my viewpoint, drop that round in, hand guard forward. Whereas if I need to turn this way and come in from underneath, I can't see the ejection port and I'm also gonna be fighting against gravity and poor view. And I might end up missing that ejection port altogether. Another reason I like the over the top is I use the leverage of the buttstock against the forearm to hold the shotgun in place for extended periods of time. Ultimately, what I prefer to do, drop that first round in the ejection port, come on over to my workspace or hip rest position and load the rest into my magazine tube. However, if I find myself in a situation where I've gone through all of my rounds and I've expended my max loadout, I can still load one round at a time into my ejection port if I don't have time to feed that magazine and I need to get some work done right away. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that action needs to be open, that handguard needs to be to the rear in order for any of this loading through this ejection port to happen. If I have the handguard forward, the action closed, never gonna go into that ejection port, I guarantee it. So whatever your boomstick of choice is, Remington, Mossberg, Beretta, Benelli, Whichever you decide to pick as your pump shotgun, you've got a couple different approaches as to how to get that first round in and how to keep that thing fed. Hope to see you on the range. Thanks for watching us.